This is absolutely our favourite this month. Panoramas of Lost London by Philip Davis with a foreword by Dan Cruikshank. 300 glorious pictures published in association with English Heritage. Now you may remember from last year the best-selling Lost London. Well this is its sequel with 100 extra and new photographs and some of the originals enhanced so that even more fantastic detail is visible. They were all from the collection of the London County Council originally and they've been enlarged to this poster size so that we can really get the detail of the quality of the original and see the faces and the people standing looking out at windows who were caught on camera in this snapshot in time. There's advertising posters everywhere and this is London undergoing a great deal of change before a lot of the slums and tenements like this one in Millbank and this one in Westminster were torn down forever. It's the children and the the lifestyle that's so exquisitely captured and sometimes the little faces are moving it makes them look even more ghost-like some of them look quite shocked to be on camera at all this is Spitalfields the National Liberal Club Ooh, the ice cream van's going by <laughs> We can take the tram to Aldwych in 1932. See Sir Christopher Wren's courtroom. Wapping, Millbank. It's an absolutely amazing, amazing coffee table book. Brand new publication at £40, but because we know the publisher through bibliophilebooks.com, they're allowing us in our mail order catalogue and online to sell this new book for just £28. It's going to be all over the shops this Christmas. So get your copy with a £12 discount through Bibliophile. It's called The Panoramas of Lost London.